check it out how gloomy it is out here, man. It's been pouring down rain. We got a ton of rain the other night. I think we got like six or seven inches in like a 14 hour span, just like 36 hours ago, maybe something like that. So not long ago at all, everything is completely blown out, washed away. So what better to do than catch up a little bit on my editing. Hunter's in there editing a the video right now. This video right here, small, you know, TWRE managed lake in, you know, around above Memphis, Tennessee, or kind of east of Memphis, Tennessee, I guess it is. It's called Glen Springs Lake. Tons and tons of numbers in here. That's what I was told when I went over here. You'll catch a bunch of fish. Not really known for big ones, but we still had fun. Me and Hunter got to go to a new lake, see a couple fish swimming around, catch a couple on some of my favorite ways to catch them. So enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Coronavirus is clearing up. Can I say that or I'll get demonetized? It's clearing up. Tournament's about to kick back up. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. So hit that subscribe button. Follow along. Little one. Caught another little one. Was not recording though. So many like giant carp back in here. Every time I think I see a stump throw by, it swims away. You think so? Lost him. That was the biggest one yet. Biggest one yet, wasn't it? By about two inches. He came up, watched him eat it. For whatever reason, he just didn't eat it right. Man, they're just tiny, dude. Little bitty. He came up by that tree, though, and couldn't stand it. Yeah, do you want one? You, you can have this one. So I'm going to show you what you want, what's the goal, okay? So watch whenever I throw it out. You want to leave a little bit of slack in your line and twitch it, and then you'll see how it, like, jumps back and forth into the water. Like, you want it to look like, you know how my frog goes back and forth? See, it went that way, then that way. See, so it's going back and forth. That's the goal. So here you go. People buying a lot of hair products to stay home all the time. There's a little bash. Self care is treading on TikTok. Got him. That's a good one, Kyle. I know. Is that on my thing? Yep. Why did I, I hooked him in the. What did he do? Uh, he didn't bite it. I hooked him in this. In the uh, foul hooked him somehow. Well, I mean, he had to have bit it. Because he wasn't on bed. I mean, he. I know, but like, how did that even happen? He's not. He wasn't even on bed or nothing. Like, how did that happen? Oh, that's so sad. That's crazy. We caught him a good one in the water. They look big in that water, don't they? That's probably a female. I don't know. You just, I didn't come to the skin where we bleed, I guess. I don't know. I don't think fish are very vascular. He's moving his eyes Trying to look at you, see what the hell happened. Hi. I threw it like a 12 incher. This is a better one than what you've got. No, that is definitely a better one. There's no doubt. Yep. He ain't much bigger than this. He just ate it in the right spot, obviously. Because he can't engulf it. So he must have just grabbed the hook somehow.
off. But I mean, we'll just have to see. But I just caught two on that swim bait here. I got one right now too. Oh, give me a sec. You want to take them off the hook? <laughs> Finally getting a little bit bigger ones compared to what we caught the first three. That's a good Finally catching some. We're keeping him. I don't know what's the rules on this lake. Only one over eighteen. He ain't even eighteen. He's not eighteen. I will under eighteen. You can keep what? You can only keep one eighteen. You can't keep nothing uh, smaller. He is a seventeen and a half. That's eighteen. Seventeen. Eighteen inches are big. Eighteen inches is three over three pounds. Anything with him? Yes, you have to catch a bigger one. I'm gonna catch one bigger than him. It's gonna give me a little bit of time. That son of a gun. It just seems like I just throw it out there and they jump all over it. There's a snake. Where? Just slid off the tree. Just slid off the bank. I just like I just like throw it out there and watch it. I like watch it come back, and then I just watch the fish come up behind it and eat it. Like I don't I don't know what. Else about it but that it's actually i would catch probably more fish on it if i didn't like to see them eat it so much it's always been my problem with these swim baits yes everything i like to see the bite i like to watch the bite and if i'm not gonna watch the bite i want to flip that's it end of story I guarantee you that sucker's sitting. It's sitting right there. That's what they do. They sit back in the little deeper parts and just look at the bed. And then sometimes you can get them to, and that's what the female almost always does. When the male's on bed, the female is usually sitting out here looking at the bed. If she's around, 
you mess with the male long enough, sometimes they'll come in. <sighs> Screw these. It ain't just them two sitting right there. There's a bunch sitting right there, ain't there? <laughs> like, uh, there's a bunch sitting right there. It makes sense because there's like a bluegill bed or something right there. There's like 50 bluegill right there. So it makes sense the bass will be just sitting here, but I know there's a couple trying to spawn because there's beds right here and I saw them on it for a second or two. I mean, the bass were sitting in them. It ain't just like, if I, if I didn't see the bass sitting in the bed, I wouldn't have ever even messed with it. That one came up, made it around the edge of that little ditch. So you can kind of see ditch runs through right there and when I pulled it to the edge of that ditch right there by that stump came up and smoked it obviously I really really want to catch a three pounder or so but that one will have to do for right now because that's what bit 100% where he's supposed to be though little one bag on I thought it was going to be a good one. Man. Very next cast. Still there beside that giant tree over there. That's, that ditch comes right up beside that big tree. So I figured it'd be a high percentage little spot. Let's try to make it three casts in a row. Definitely a place where multiple could be. Doesn't mean they'll bite though. It's a very, very fun way to fish. will come up and eat this thing big time. I grab my worm so he didn't shake it off because I know he's liable to do that. All right, forget all that going slow with a sinko crap. <clears throat> oh, that one sounded like a big one. I'm sure it wasn't, but man, it did sound like a big one. to believe that I like I can see the bottom it's like fishing on Lake Oneida you can see the bottom and all of a sudden a fish just bites hold on I got a fish on a little frog fish might not can show that one but freaking awesome. Man, he looked like two pounds bigger than that though. <laughs> First fish on the 
rod I built specifically for frogging. That's a little female right there. Hi, my name is Hunter Welcher. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because me and Kyle are going to be in a tournament this weekend and it's going to be posted on my channel. No, no, no. Yes, it is. No, my channel. We're gonna live stream it on Kyle's channel, and then the next day I'm gonna post it on my channel. That that'll work. So Hunter's been making some YouTube videos. We're about to get her to make some more. She's gonna do a little more behind the scenes lifestyle stuff. So Hunter, but it's welcome. hard when we're not going to any tournament. Yeah, it's hard when we're not traveling a lot because her channel is gonna be more of like a traveling kind of deal, stuff like that. We've so, been at home. There ain't no traveling. We've been doing nothing. 